Get over here now. So you're the new guy to the group, huh? Well, let's go over some of the basic rules. Number one, you will be heartless while you're in this group. This is a kill or be killed kind of world that we live in now. Our simple job is just to roam around and look for homesteads. And then when we find a homestead, we let the rest of the group know. And then as a group, we attack that homestead we kill everybody inside of it, and then we steal all of their supplies. And then after we steal all the supplies, then we also eat the people that we killed. And let's get something straight. If you don't do everything that you're told, you will be dinner too. Do you understand? <laughs> Did you hear that? Let's go check it out. right up there he's by himself <laughs> I don't think he's with the group either I think he's a loner number one he does not have a radio number two he didn't have anybody watching his six as we came up this way I think he's a loner I think he's gonna be dinner tonight. <laughs> hey, welcome to my bug out property. And in the scenario video that we just watched, in a post grid down, post collapse scenario, we saw where marauders were canvassing an area looking for a place that they could hit so that they could steal their supplies. And unfortunately for our character, because this is a post-collapse scenario where he can't run to the doctor's office or to the pharmacy, he had developed a nasty cold or a nasty <laughs> flu and then had developed a nasty cough because of it. And then because of that nasty cough, he inadvertently alerted those marauders who were able to find his location, hunt him down, and take him out. And so to keep this from happening to you in a post-collapse situation, we are going to learn how we can make our own cough medicine using a common weed that grows around us. And this common weed that we are going to use to make our own post-collapse cough medicine with is called the mullen plant. And in fact, there's one right there and one right there. Now, in another video, I showed how to make a cough medicine that was an, an effusion or a tea from the mullen plant. But today, we are going to make another kind of cough medicine from the mullen plant, which is actually a tincture. Now, the mullen plant really shines when it comes time for taking care of your cough. If you have deep lung congestion, you're really hacking up a lung, this plant is excellent for that. In fact, I even see people that have COPD and asthma that swear by this, saying how well this plant really clears out their lungs and lets them breathe again. And the reason why this plant does so good with helping out with a bad cough for you is because it really breaks up that mucus and it also helps you to cough that mucus out. Plus, this plant also has antibacterial and antiviral properties to it, so it can help you even fight off that cold or that flu or whatever is giving you that really bad deep cough. Now, this plant is really easy to identify because, it, number one, it has these really soft, fuzzy leaves. Now, its leaves are not as fuzzy as the lamb's ear plant, but it's just, again, this really soft fuzz. In fact, this has been nicknamed cowboy toilet paper and I can believe you, you can imagine why. Now this plant actually has a two year life cycle. That's first year of life, it doesn't grow tall, it remains low to the ground and it has a very distinct rosette or a florette shape to it. And then in its second year of life, which is what you're seeing right here, the plant will actually start growing taller and grow a stalk 
stalk and then it will actually develop flowers. And this one here is actually probably just a couple of weeks from developing flowers on it. And I'll put B-roll up on the screen so that you can see what a mature second year mullein plant looks like. Now to harvest leaves from the mullein plant, I, I only harvest a couple of leaves from each plant. And I never harvest next to the ground where the leaves are all brown, dried up, nasty looking, nor do I ever harvest from the very center. I always kind of harvest from the middle of the plant. Again, whether it's first year plant or whether second year plant like this. Now I do want to take just a quick second to remind everybody that today's video is just part of a whole playlist where I show you how to make a whole bunch of different natural medicines like this for a grid down event. And then I also want to remind everybody that I have written a book that contains hundreds of pages of medicinal recipes just like you're going to learn today. So if you are afraid of going into SHTF with high blood sugar or high cholesterol or high blood pressure or headaches or other common ailments like that, then I will put a link to the book that I wrote down below so you can check it out if you want to. Right now it's only $25 for a hard copy of it, but just in full disclosure, there is nothing in that book that you cannot find yourself for free. However, if you want it all in one location and save yourself hundreds of hours, again, I will put a link to it down below. So now since we have harvested enough leaves that we can make this homemade cough medicine tincture that will help you if you're hacking up your lungs in a post-collapse situation, let's go make it now. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these leaves up into pretty small pieces because the more surface that you can give the alcohol to macerate or to absorb the good stuff from, the better. So now I have filled this jar up about one third of the way full with these chopped mullein leaves. And what I'm going to do is fill up the rest of the two thirds of the bottle with this high proof alcohol. Now, whenever you use fresh herbs instead of dried herbs, and I just, myself, I just prefer to use fresh herbs, but anytime that you use fresh herbs, they have a higher moisture content in them since they haven't dried out yet. And if with that higher moisture content, then you need a higher proof type of alcohol. Like I like to use this 100 proof vodka. The whole idea behind it is that you don't want the extra moisture that is inside your, your herbs to dilute the alcohol level in your alcohol and ruin your tincture. So now again I filled this up about one third of the way full, this jar about one third of the way full, therefore two thirds of the rest of the jar is going to be this high proof alcohol. And again this alcohol is going to draw out all of that medicinal properties of the mullein plant that will help you if you get deep lung congestion. And by the way, if you are watching this video on YouTube, you should go over to Rumble and find my channel there. A lot of us YouTube preppers are going over to Rumble because Rumble does not censor us like YouTube does. And to find my channel there, just go to rumble.com and search ethical preparedness in the search bar. Now, I have filled this to the very rim of the jar with this high proof alcohol. And the reason why I did that is because I don't want any of the plant matter, because the plant matter, some of the plant matter has a tendency to float to the top. I don't want any of the plant matter to be above the alcohol level because that plant matter, while it's macerating, could actually end up molding and again, ruining your tincture. So now since I have the alcohol added to the jar, now I'm gonna put the lid on really tight and I'm going to give it a shake. And I always make a mess when I do this, but I'm gonna give it a shake because I wanna release any air bubbles that might be trapped down in the vegetation so they come to the top. And then now I'm going to check to make sure that my level of alcohol didn't drop and it didn't really drop much or any at all. And so now I'm gonna put the lid back on, again, really tight, and I'm gonna prepare this to for storage so it can macerate and suck out or draw out all of the good stuff out of this and then into the alcohol. Okay, now since I have labeled this mullein tincture in the making, I am now going to place it in a cool, dark place for the next six weeks so it can macerate and just really draw out all those good medicinal qualities from the plant into the alcohol. And then what I'm going to do is every day or at least several times a week, I will take it out and I will give it just a quick shake so that I agitate its contents and then put it back for the remainder of the six weeks. Four to six weeks later. 
All right, now since this has had six weeks to macerate inside the vodka, now we're gonna remove it and strain it. All right, now to strain the mullen leaves from the vodka, I am going to use this handy dandy potato ricer. Because what this will allow me to do is you've got the little holes here on the bottom where the liquid will seep through and then it's got this that will really push all the ex extra liquid out of the uh, leaves. And no, I don't normally make this big of a mess when I do this. Okay, now you can see how that turned from that crystal clear vodka to this really dark medicinal tincture. Okay, now I would normally transfer this medicinal tincture to a dark glass dropper bottle like this, but like the doom cough that I am, I forgot that I ran out of them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two milliliters of this medicinal tincture and put it in a small amount of water. That way if I had asthma or COPD or just really deep lung congestion, uh, due to a really bad case of the flu or cold or something like that in a grit down situation, I could take this. Okay, now I'm going to drink this to show you that it's safe and it's not going to kill me. This did not have a bad taste at all. If I had to take this as medicine, I wouldn't be gagging every time I had to take it. And if it was a grid down situation and I had COPD or asthma or a really nasty cough or deep lung congestion, I would take this three times a day. I take this kind of in the morning time, midday, and then at night. And then of course also if any time I had a flare up. So now I wanna hear from you. What other common elements would you like to see me make natural medicine remedies for. Comment down below with your request. And to see the playlist that I'm doing where I'm making a whole bunch of different natural medicines like this, then click on the video that should be appearing on the screen just about now to learn what most preppers don't know. Anyways, folks, this is enough internet for me today. I do need to get back to work here at my bug out property. And folks, if you made it this far, hey, thank you very much for watching. And I pray that you have a good night.